Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. So today's video, I'm showing you how I do my snap, wrap, and go rollers. Um, I have them right here in the cheetah print. This is the normal roller. I also have them in the jumbo roller, which are these here. These give you more of a beachy wave, and these give you more like tire looser curls, depending on how you do them. So I'm gonna give you a first look on how I do them and how they turn out in the morning. So if you've never seen these rollers before, I want to show you them so you can see what they look like. These are the regular and these are the jumbo, two different prints, two different sizes. This is what they look like compared to each other. So I love these because they are washable. Um, you can throw these right in the washer, clean them, and use them time after time. They're really good for travel. You can keep them all in this nice bag. It's like nice and narrow and slim. You can put it in any bag or carry-on. Um, and you're not using any hot tools, so there's no heat, no damage to your hair. These are very soft. They're very squishy. You can sleep in these. You're supposed to sleep in them. I sleep in them. Um, and you don't even feel them, so that's great. And then while you're sleeping, it does its thing, it does its work, and you wake up in the morning, and you just have to like fix up your hair. It takes about five minutes, and then voila, you're good to go. You have curled hair, no tools, no prep time. You can sleep a little extra in the morning, no maintenance. You don't have to worry about your hair, so it's great. I love these. They're a time saver, a money saver, a hair saver because there's no damage. So I like these a lot and I highly recommend them. Alright, now that I'm done waving these around my face like a crazy person, I'm going to take off my earrings um, and then show you guys how I do this. It's about 10 o'clock at night. Um, I always do these before I go to bed. Um, right before I jump in the shower. That way they're already in there and I can like wrap it up. Um, and then when I get out of the shower, I'm just like good to go. Oh, another thing that I didn't mention is that they also come with a ponytail inverter, which is a really cute and fun way to do your ponytail sometimes. So that's just like an extra little bonus that's just nice. So it doesn't matter if you have first day really clean hair or second or third dirty hair. Um, make sure you brush it really well and get out any kind of knots or anything because you don't want the knots. <laughs> so make sure you brush it out really good. All right, after you've brushed your hair, you're gonna want these two things right here, which are dry shampoo and dry texture spray. Both of these are a must. I'll have both of them linked down below so you can easily get your hands on them. I always shake up everything before I use it. This is the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Tapioca Dry Shampoo in the scent Warm Sugar. Oh, it's so good. It works so well and it smells amazing. So I always just spray this in my roots, right at my part. And I kind of just use my fingers to spread the hair and I'll just spray it in there. Okay, next is the dry texture spray. The Not Your Mother's Double Take Dry Finish Texture Spray. This stuff is incredible and it gives you such a good hold. Just gives you like a nice grip. And I spray this all throughout my hair, bottom and top. Oh, <laughs> I just breathe some in. <clears throat> just like that. And then, I brush my hair again. By brushing it again, it just evenly distributes all of the product and it also gets out some of the knots that you may have created while tossing your hair, like I always do. So since I have a middle part, that is where I am starting off at and I'm gonna start over on this side of my hair where there's more hair compared to this side here where there's less hair. If you have a middle part, then go ahead and do your part and then you can work from there. I never have a middle part. I always feel like it just like looks kind of weird on me, so I always do the side part. Okay, so I like looser curls, so I take larger strands of hair to roll, but if you like tighter curls, then do smaller sections of hair to curl. So always start at the top of your head. I go right here near my crease, and I grab this front section, and I maybe do like an inch section, just like that. Take the roller, always start at the end of the hair, and you start by twisting the very ends just to get it started, just like this. And then you can continue the way up, just rolling it, rolling it, rolling it, ouch, <laughs> got my nail caught. Um, keep rolling it till you get to the top, and this is where you snap it. <laughs> and then it hangs out just like that. All right, now we're gonna continue making our way back one link after the other straight back on the part okay I'm gonna show you guys one more time and then I will speed it up 
take about an inch section of hair, start at the bottom, you take the little tail of your hair, you start to wind it up just to get it started, and then from here, you go and you twist it all the way up. If you have little stragglers that come out, just be sure to add them as you go, just like this, and you twist it just like that. Keep going and going, and then once you get here, then you actually interlock the rollers. So I'm gonna interlock them right here. You go through one of the rollers that's already snapped, and you snap them together, creating a little chain link. Just like that. And you interlock them together like that, so it gives it volume and lifts your hair off of the root instead of just squashing your hair down. All right, so you're gonna continue all the way back from your forehead to the base of the neck of your head. from the forehead all the way back down to um, my neck. I'm now going to work on this side and do the same thing with my forehead and go all the way back. Okay, so I have this larger part of my hair done. I just wanna mention that out of the entire pack of rollers, I have one left. So I used 11 rollers on the larger part of my head. There's 12 in a bag. So I, for my hair, need two bags of rollers. Depending on your hair and how thin or thick or long or short it is, you may just need one pack, you might need two packs, or you might need three packs. So keep that in mind. But for my hair being pretty thick and medium length, I use two packs of rollers. So maybe you just use that as kind of like a guide for your own hair. and just kind of like move them around and loosen them up a bit. Sometimes I have to do that because I feel like they're just too tightly wound. Um, also, if you have little ends that are sticking out like this, you can just push them right back into the roller. Um, but either way, they'll be fine. But yeah, this is what the front looks like. <laughs> and here's the back. And I'm going to sleep on these and I will see you guys in the morning. All right, good morning. We're looking a little crazy, right? This is just what it looks like in the morning for me because I toss and turn so, so much. I do recommend if you're someone that tosses and turns so much at night to get a headscarf or a silk pillowcase. That'll help it go a little smoother. But this is <laughs> the uh, end result of me tossing and turning. So no big deal though. I can just take a few minutes and just touch up at the end. Um, no worries. So let's take all of these out and see what this is looking like.
hair looks like with all of the rollers out. So much volume, bouncy curls, but still pretty loose. I love it. It gives so much volume, no hot tools, no time. This is untouched though, so I am going to take just a few minutes and touch it up. Uh, first thing I like to do is just brush out all of the curls with a hairbrush. Alright, so my hair is brushed and it looks so much better. It's so shiny, still has a lot of the volume. So I highly recommend this. I will have the link in the description. Definitely check these rollers out. Just because it's so much volume and it's just like va va boom. I love it so much. So if you guys enjoyed this video, thumbs it up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. Check out my Instagram, check out my blog. Check out everything in the description. And I will see you guys very soon in a brand new video. Bye, love you.